Top gets blown off. The Pacific plates and Australian plates are colliding. The western and northernmost point are both to be found on the Neofau. Somewhat hard to pronounce. I'm Camilla, I make travel and geography related videos and my goal is to make the videos better and better. I have just gotten admitted into trying Google Earth Studio. So you'll see in this video that the video quality is better. Google Earth Studio does not have all the features that I need such as Street View. So I will continue to use Google Maps and Google Earth. And yesterday I reached 300 subscribers. Thank you very much. If you like my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and support me. Okay, ready for a new country video. Today we are zooming in on... Tonga. Tonga, the place of elevation extremes, with the second deepest place on earth, as well as tall volcanoes. You can swim with whales here. Let's zoom in. Tonga lies here in the Pacific Ocean, like Tuvalu in Polynesia, which is a subregion within the Pacific Ocean and is shaped like a triangle between Hawaii, Easter Island and New Zealand. And the Polynesian people share a similar culture. It lies west of the international dateline, meaning it is among the countries that can celebrate the new year first. But it lies in the Western Hemisphere. It's a good thing Google Maps circles the island here in red. That way it is much clearer where the country is. Tonga consists of archipelagos of about 169 islands, where 36 of them are inhabited. Tonga does not share any land borders, but close countries and territories are Fiji, Wallace and Futuna, part of France, Samoa and Nui, the state of New Zealand, and the closest land to Tonga that is not Tonga. As already mentioned, Tonga has about 169 islands, and they are divided into three main groups, Vavau, Haapai, and Tonga Tapu, which is the largest island. The Tongan islands are of two types. Most have a limestone base formed by coral formations, and the other type is limestone on a volcanic base. Yes, there is volcanic activity on Tonga, more on that later. Tonga is the 174th largest country, not so large, and not so populous in the number 182, with just over 100,000 people. Well, that is more than Andorra. The capital city is Nukualofa, where about a fifth of the population lives, and lies in the island group Tonga Tapu, where there are a bunch of other settlements. Another Another town is Neafu in the Vavao Island group. And now for the extreme points. The easternmost point lies on the island Tafai. The southernmost point lies on this island south of the island Ewa. The western and northernmost point are both to be found on Neafau. Somewhat hard to pronounce. Now we're measuring how regular the shape of the country is. We have the area of the rectangle. The area of Tonga is about 748 square kilometers. So Tonga covers only 0.49% of the rectangle. Only Tuvalu is less regular than Tonga so far in this series. Now we'll zoom in on the capital Nukualofa. All right, there's the capital Nukualofa with water on both sides, sports stadium, high school, Free Church of Tonga. Let's see what Street View can offer us. I'm gonna try right there. And these are Tongan cars, many cars. Three rows full of cars. <laughs> are these teddy bears? Oh, I like the palm trees there. Wonder what this building is. These look like coconuts or some other fruits. It's probably a place where they sell fruits or food. It looks like a nice house with a banana tree next to it, I believe. Let's check out another place. Let's try there. Oh, it looks like a really nice park. Let's see, what am I on? I'm in a road, trees on the sides to it, some flowers, looks like a good house. Some construction work happening. This looks like it is really well maintained. And here you can walk alongside the water and see the water. It's a cool looking tree. Yeah, I think I like this capital city. I haven't seen much people yet though. I wanna see if we can find some more people. Maybe this is where the life happens. Let's try to stand there. Oh, there are some people here. Let's see, they are... Maybe they are fishing? Just 
playing, we don't know. It looks like a nice sunset, by the way. It seems like it's a pretty quiet capital city. Probably, there aren't too many people living there. Landscapes! Now I like to start off this section by talking about elevation. And Tonga's elevation is an obvious result of meeting tectonic plates. Look, you can easily see it on the map. Tonga lies on the Pacific Plate, that meets the Australian Plate. The Pacific Plate and Australian Plate are colliding. Now when two plates collide on land, it will create mountains. But when it happens at sea, subduction can happen. Meaning one plate subducts underneath the other plates. And that creates a trench right here, a depth. And that's what's happening here. The Pacific Plate is sliding under the Australian Plate, creating the Tonga Trench. The deepest point of this trench is called the Horizon Deep, and is 10,800 meters deep, and is the second deepest point on Earth. Now, as you maybe know, plate tectonic can create volcanic activity, and that's also the case in Tonga. Tonga has 16 volcanoes, and the last eruption happened in 2015 at the Honga Tonga Honga Papai volcano. Tonga also has atolls, ring-shaped coral reefs that can hold lagoons, as well as beaches and tropical forests. The tallest point is Kao, a stratovolcano at 1,030 meters or 3,379 feet. A stratovolcano is a volcano that is steep, like this, because the lava that it spewed has been thick. So it has taken some time to harden, allowing it to become steep. Lakes. An example of a lake in Tonga is Vailai, meaning big water in Tongan. It is a lake lying on the island Niua Fao, you know, where the western and northernmost point of the country can be found. The island is the rim of an active volcano. See, sometimes when volcanoes erupt, especially the steep stratovolcanoes, sometimes when the eruption is big enough, the top gets blown off and you're left with just a rim and a hole in the middle. Rain falls down and fills the hole. And I don't know if that's what happened here, but that's how this lake could have formed. According to a recent study, the lake lies at about sea level, but the depth is found to be 121 meters deep. Well, that's impressive. Rivers! Nope. Tonga does not have any rivers. It is simply not big enough. The island Deua has creeks, and there is a single stream on the island Niua Topo Tapu. Let's do random street view. Okay, it is a little hard to see where we can go because it's all blue and it's really big, but I can see something happening here. Let's just dive right in. Another big house. A big Toyota. Yeah, is this what a typical Tonga neighborhood looks like? Maybe it is. Dirt road and white houses. Some more cars. The cars in Tonga are pretty big. I probably need them for these types of roads. What is that? A bell? Maybe church bell? No, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is probably a church. Yeah, look, this is probably a Tongan church. With the church bell there and a kid playing. Cool! Let's see what else we can do in Tonga. Let's try that place, if it isn't the same place that we chose the last time. Oh, we're on a boat with the Tongan flag. In the travel suggestions section, I'll tell you more about what you can see on a boat ride. We can see what these guys are looking at. It's a sailboat and there are more boats there. That's some beautiful lights. What a pretty island nation. And there are so many islands here. There's probably so much to see and to explore here. Maybe you can go diving in this water. Yeah, these are living life. I'm gonna try one more place we can go to. And it looks like the town of Tefisi has something. I don't know anything about this place, but let's zoom in. Oh, look at that view here. There are mountains and forests. The sun is shining. Big cars here as well. Oh, even bigger cars. What is it? <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> this... That is fun. Okay, so that's another thing you can do here. You can ride horses here. Good morning. Look at those little houses. I wonder what they're for. Maybe they're like small shops. It's a bigger building. 
And they have electricity on Tonga too. Opposite side time. It is always surprising to see where we'll end up when we start in the Pacific Ocean. I put my ruler in the capital city, Nukualofa, move it for 20,000 kilometers around the globe, and we land in Africa, in the second biggest country, Algeria, in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Now that's fascinating. We start at the Pacific, the biggest water pool on Earth. And we end in the Sahara Desert where water is sparse. Time for travel suggestions. Now, if you want to visit Tonga, chances are big you will enter the country from its main airports. Fuamoto International Airport on the island Tonga Tapu. From there, it is a half hour drive to the capital city. And on the way, you will drive through some of the other towns and get a first impression of what the island looks like. If you're tired after a long trip, you can start your day by going to the beach. And there are many beaches to choose from here, like the Ha'atafu Beach. It looks beautiful here. One fun activity you can do on this island here is to swim with whales. Yes, humpback whales. Tonga is one of few places in the world where you can actually do this. They have a length of about 12 to 16 meters. It must be so cool to swim close to an animal that big in the water. You can do it through a tour operator, for instance, whales swim and dive tours. They will take you from the wharf and into the water with the boats. They will try to slowly attract the whales and you can dive in and see them. You can stay in the boat too if you prefer that. But if you like swimming, you should go diving too. Diving can be done on the same island, Tongatapu, but you could also explore other islands like the ones in the Hapai group. There's a great reef geography here. There are caves, canyons, and tunnels with vertical walls. There is so much to see there. When it comes to animals, in Tonga you can see turtles, manta rays, tuna, barracuda, butterfly fish, and clownfish. I have only snorkeled once, and it was amazing. So if you haven't tried it before, you should try it, because the world is totally different down there. It is so fascinating to see all those small fish. From the Hapai group, you could take a boat with a local guide to the stratovolcano Kau, also the tallest point of the country. I found a review. Kau Island is a small volcano with a peak just over a kilometer high. We arrived at sunrise and it was a spectacular sight with the sun behind it. I believe you. Close lies to Fua, another volcanic island. It looks as if this also was a stratovolcano that, in an eruption, had its top blown off. You can clearly see the rim, and there is a crater in the center. I also see some volcanic activity happening over here. Tonga is beautiful, and it's especially the coast that has a lot to offer. Well, Tonga does have a lot of coast. <laughs> like a great marine biodiversity and swimming with whales. The land can offer beaches, tropical forests and volcanoes. These were some geographical facts on Tonga. Next time we're gonna go back to Africa, to Togo, and we're zooming out. Thank you for watching guys.